Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to our channel. Uh, today's reaction video is going to be a little bit different. It is a reaction video to um, Sony Fuzz. Mom reacts to Dave Chappelle finding Islam at a pizza shop. I know Dave Chappelle is Muslim, but I did not know the story on how he became a Muslim or how he came to Islam. So, let me do our reaction to them reacting to the story. So, let's go ahead and check it out. You're a Muslim? I am. When did you become Muslim? When I was 17. What were the circumstances? Oh, shit. I don't know. It was like believing in God and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not like, you know what I mean? I should preface this by saying it's not like I'm good at it. <laughs> when I was 17, I was living in Washington, and there was a pizza shop across from my house. And it was like all these Muslim dudes that worked in there. And I used to go in there and crack jokes. And I also I was a naturally curious guy, and I would ask him questions about his religion. It was, and the guy was so passionate about it, it was very compelling. I like the perspective of it, and, and I think these things informed my decision that I wanted to have a meeting. I think anybody with a, a normal brain would like the perspective of Islam. Only like a backward person or somebody that doesn't like logic will probably be like, uh, oh, this doesn't make sense to me. It's my opinion. Though it's a lot of people's opinion too. So. Meaningful life, a spiritual life. I'm reading about you being Muslim, and they reference something that I was fascinated by. The well of Zamzam. There's a well mm -hmm. called Zamzam. It's in yeah. Saudi Arabia. And the myth goes that a family walking through this desert dying of thirst. And this endless well presents itself. You and I could go see it. Right, so I could go see it. You'd yeah. probably have to make some phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> have, have, you, have you been there? I have. It's only Damn, I want to go. It's not a tourist location. No, no, it should it be. The man is the prophet Abraham and his wife. The word Zamzam, that you guys speak Arabic, literally means stop, stop, because the, zam, when zam. it was commanded that this well would appear, the water gushed forth so much that the wife screams, stop, stop, because it, it was so overwhelming. And they say that it's an inexhaustible well. Mm -hmm. The thing that comforts me about it is the idea that all of this is from a singular source, that this source is ultimately kind, and even though we may not understand the intentions of this source, they were all connected and bounded by it. You know, like Islam, as it's been presented in the public space, is such a narrow and, and, and dismissive view of, Facts. of a religious belief. It's a, it's a beautiful religion, like a beautiful religion. And the ideas in that religion are reflected in all the major Abrahamic faiths. You'll see these ideas in Christianity or Judaism, you know. So even that picture of thousands of Muslims congregated in that square, wherever they just were. I can honestly Kaba. tell you that I felt differently seeing that just now than I have in than the Than you past. have when you've seen that kind of stuff in the past? Before, when I've seen something, and it was perfectly peaceful. And If you showed me that exact scene a year ago or just weeks ago before we really started digging into and trying to understand this, this other religion, I would have had a, a different physical a and emotional reaction to it. It would have caused me i i felt there was something off and weird and yeah. foreign and seeing that just now i saw like go back to that for a second that 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 scene like and the ideas that just looks utterly calm and peaceful and it doesn't look weird where i would have thought like Oh God, what, what is, this is this the endless well? Uh, I no idea. No, that's no, the okay. Wait, isn't that's there one the Kaaba. Like something that they all pray to, right? Like everyone. This is they it. Pray they like they go in one direction, aiming at this one thing on Earth. I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure that's. I don't know if it has anything to do with the well, but anyway, I I, I just really noticed some a change in myself. That's seeing, fascinating. Yeah, I can't even really articulate it well, but I think it's. I'm really freaking happy about it to be able to look at an entire population, 25% of the Earth's population, through a kinder eye is the kind of personal growth that I personally want. That's <laughs> tight. Myself. It was cool. All right, Kara, keep going. I'm sorry to interrupt with that. No, that's good that you pointed that out. Sometimes you notice stuff like that. Yeah, I felt it. Christianity or Judaism, you know. But the idea is that this place does mean something. It's a place where you come to learn, where you come to know. You get here knowing nothing, you get a head full of shit, and then you go on. Mm. When the uh, current president says 
Uh, you know what? We're going to look into keeping Muslims out of this country. Well, how does that make you feel when that happens? <laughs> you don't expect necessarily that much empathy or compassion or cultural astuteness from a guy like that. What you're sad about is that the chair doesn't have more humanity in it. Did well, he say that or did he, he not? He was, he was he concerned, did. my understanding. Okay, and again, let's dig deeper because we talk all the time about what the news tells us. So everything I ever said, he wasn't talking about the, Trump wasn't talking about the Muslim religion. What I saw, he was talking about countries where there were political danger. for. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Stop, stop, stop. There's literally a statement where he said, He's sanctioning off the Muslim countries. Countries with the biggest Muslim populations. Like, he did not say anything about political. It's about Islam. When he say the biggest Muslim countries, or the countries with the predominantly Muslims, what does that mean? Come on. I know you're, like, you're probably like a Trump supporter, which is fine, which is I became to be a person that actually looks at Trump different, differently from before. But you can't be just like you can't be a stand and just ignore the stupid shit he said. For this country, you gotta be objective. Keeping those people out. It wasn't about the religion, and they happened to be predominantly Muslim countries. Mm -hmm. So that's a big difference from then saying, just being like no saying that's Nah, he's he's. That's a, a under, uh, like a racist xenophobia undertone. Like imagine me saying, "Oh, these people from these from majority Muslim countries." They're, they should not be allowed here because they bring terrorism with them. What is that saying? You're saying that the religion is reflecting on the people and the people are carrying out stuff that the religion tells them. A government sucks or there are terrorist organizations there that want to kill us that are running those countries and let's keep them out. That's a big fucking difference from that. And no, it's I hate Muslims. So I think no, that not. was a media twisting, frankly. Well, but didn't. I could be, I would no, it's not. be wrong. All right, let's watch this. <sighs> problem in this country is called Muslim. We know our current president is one. Right. You know he's not even an American. Our current president is one. He's talking about Obama. This, this is how the conservatives, this is how retarded they are. They think his, his name is Barack Hussein Obama. He's a Muslim. He's a Muslim. This is cut up. Yeah. It, we need. Yeah. We need you show it. four seconds where you can barely hear anything. Like okay. This. Just continue. Just like, no, what if they say this something? Is why people have the opinions that they do. Hold on. Hold on. But anyway, we have training camps growing where they want to kill us. Mm -hmm. That's my question. When can we get rid of? We're going to be looking at a lot of different things. All right, first of all, the guy I, 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 talking about even if that was even if that was accurate, right? Didn't say getting rid of Muslims, getting rid of training camps where we want people want to kill. Like that, you know, it's just an assumption and it's leaping and this the, the no one is twisting anything. This video is very clear. Like this is what people believe though. That an edited video. Oh, and then in the full video, Trump said that's the first question. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, that's that's what I don't like. So again, so when I did see Trump speak in full, and okay, of just let I him remember, say just like years ago, but I can remember. So here, David Letterman is is taking things, I believe, out of context. Again, we should look deeper. I'm happy. Oh, to give us a context the then. We're question, question. It's a real give us a context that takes up a lot <laughs> and either choose to just, you know, carry on because you're that humane when Biden called Trump the first racist president ever. Well, clearly that's not true. No. Nah. Nah, so how hell I no. feel when I hear a white person say some stupid shit? <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm glad that I'm glad that he acknowledged that. That, like, whatever. that they're all full of shit. Yeah, exactly. I just like the thing is I just hate when stuff is ripped up and taken out of context on both sides. Like I saw something the other day. Who's the current speaker lady? The black woman that speaks for the at the White House? Oh Moore. my god. But I saw a clip of her on Twitter where they were making fun of her, acting like she didn't know what she was talking about. But the clip was like completely chopped up and taken out of context. And then I commented, I was like, I, I hate this, you know, I hate when the left does this. It's not okay when the right does it either. There and then I got hate. I'm like, you guys are all oh, yeah, no, you yeah. Fucking, then you you're a rhino, they call you a rhino, and you're all these things. Damn, look how I put you call on social media. You can join there. I'm okay, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I didn't know this story about Dave Chappelle until right now, but it was, it was a good video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys again in the next video.